It's like throwing back a fish. When we get immersed in experience, completely absorbed in it, we forget ourselves. That can go two ways. One, we can go into it, go through it, and come out of it. Two, we can go into it, get engrossed in it, and stay in it for a long time. Most of us awaken one moment, come to ourselves, and to the realization that we have been totally engrossed either in our own craziness or in our situation. However, one of the quick responses to that realization is that we shouldn't be that way, totally engrossed, and make an effort somehow to wake up. It involves pumping up attention in a certain way. That effort, however, is as mind-based as being engrossed is. The very tricky thing has been, how do we cease being totally engrossed without getting totally engrossed and waking up from being totally engrossed? It's not as difficult as it may seem. It's easy when you know how. First, a little overview, some fundamentals. Experiences come into existence from apparent non-existence to subtle existence to denser and denser existence until a memory is formed in the matrix of gross physicality, a memory, a persistent pattern, subtle to gross. They gyrate and collide for a while, then they go their separate ways, changed. In nature, the only place we know where the matrix of gross physicality of existence goes out of existence is in the black holes, and they evaporate in a fizz of particles. So going out of existence is seemingly rather limited in nature. Things change, but they rarely go out of existence altogether. Humans, however, have the makeup to be able to dissolve forms of existence without leaving a residue other than a virtual memory imprint. When humans make something go out of existence, they are making it go back into inherence. Inherence is virtuality, a latent pattern included in all that is. Human beings make things go out of existence the same way as nature does, but in reverse. <coughs> The experience of dense physicality is the experience of memory. Memory is the interior of physical existence. The denser the memory, the more mass it seems to have, the slower it is to change. What happens in the gold key release and in the other Tetracy transformation instructions is a decrease of the density of experience. Each cycle through, it's less dense until in what I call a good outcome, it has only virtual presence with the density of smoke, or even that virtual presence is difficult to locate. Virtual presence, a memory imprint or inherent pattern latent in all possibility. The difference, dense or not, too dense or not too dense, that is the question. When we apply the gold key release to something that disturbs us, <coughs> we find the turbulence decreasing and decreasing, the density decreasing and decreasing, until it's so hard to remember what that disturbing something was, that we forget where we were in the gold key release. We have to wait until it surfaces again, until our mind congeals again, at least to pass whatever's left through the steps. It may be so gone that we can't come up with anything, whatever. I'd say we were done. There is no charge left. There is no sense of loss. It's like throwing back a fish. Splash. <laughs>